Pro Tools, not only can we color our tracks, as we've already shown, but we can also color our clips. So to do that real easily, we of course need our color palette. To get that open the easiest way is just to double click on a color bar. You could of course do that from your mix window as well. Just double click on a color bar. Or if you want window and color palette, all the same thing. Now it will be on tracks usually by default, but as soon as we select a clip, guess what? It goes to clips and tracks. If it doesn't, just use the drop down and choose clips and tracks. From there, easy to color whatever you want. Just select the clip, choose a color, and that's it. Now our saturation here, brightness, that's not going to affect our clips. That's for our, uh, for our tracks. But choose whatever color you want. And if I go to another clip here, say this one here, which is green, now it switches over to the current color that that clip is. If, however, I wanted to hold on the color of this clip here, which is red, because I want all of my drum clips to maybe be red or something, I can choose hold. And now whenever I select another clip that's a different color, it's going to hold on that palette there on that color. And I can easily uh, select that. We can, of course, do multiples at once. Okay, so I can select here. Let me just get rid of hold for now. Select that and come down here and I'll shift select all of these uh, clips here. That's enough. And let's say make all of these this blue color. And there you go. That's it. So we can quickly do multiple clips just by selecting them and uh, choosing your color. Now, not only can you color your uh, audio clips, as most people know, but we can also color our MIDI clips. Same exact process. Choose the clip. Make sure it's in clips and tracks. Choose whatever color you want. And that's really uh, all there is to it. We could also, of course, come up here and say none, but that's sort of confusing because that's sort of the color of a muted, you know, a muted clip there. But you can do that if you want, but that is how to color your clips in your tracks, whether it's audio or MIDI. And we all know that MIDI in pink sounds much better than MIDI in blue. <laughs> that's actually not true at all.